Hello and welcome. Um, right, we're doing a little run of different techniques using your gel plate. We've already done a few, but this one I wanted to use um, literally just a little piece of card with a hole cut out. I've used, obviously you can use your dies, um, it is up to you. If you're really good at cutting circles, then you're a better fellow than me because there's no way I'm doing that freehand. Um, but I've used um, the Precision, the Orbis Precision Circle Cutter. Really love this. I've used it with its little blade. Perfect. So it cuts your circles wherever you fancy. But I, I really like this. I think it looks cool. And um, so, as usual, I'm going to put uh, my paint on my gel plate. Using my gel plate, using um, my block from um, from Clarity, and I'm also using the Viva Decor paints. I'm actually mixing it up and using a different colour. So really nice green is that actually, and I'm using a, that really nice golden yellow. As usual, not putting too much paint on there. Now, just starting to mix my paint around. Now, this time you'll see I'm just doing little sharp strokes with the uh, the gel with the brayer. Doesn't really matter. You'll you'll find your own way of applying the paints. It it. It's whatever feels comfortable essentially for you as usual using my cardstock cleaning my brayer off that gives me a really nice print and then so dead simple because it's nice so take your cardstock now I think first of all I'm actually gonna pop that on there okay let's do a really soft print just lift up some of the paint off there okay really gentle like so lift that away and then I'm going to take this now I'm going to use the opposite side because that wasn't my print that was just playing take the opposite side and now let's do a print so just squidging it down I know what you're thinking the only putting you know but when has that ever bothered me do you know what I mean <laughs> that doesn't worry me in the slightest that I'm going to get a bit of paint on my hand that that were me just being lazy I must admit just lifting the paint off with this bit of paper. Okay, so my first print, I'm gonna take this off, but I'm obviously gonna leave that nice big circle in the center. So when I lift this, I like this because that gives me a really beautiful aperture. And with something like this, if I bring that in, do you know like, um, imagine if you were creating something like that, doesn't that look beautiful? And that is just over the scrap, or maybe it's gonna go over there. So you've got a really nice aperture. So for starters, it gives you a good aperture. But then, when you take your scra another piece of paper, I really like the circle that's left, because I think that looks really, really effective. So, and it's almost like getting two for one, but it is only with your, your circle, and you could cut that anywhere on the card. Look at that little print. Doesn't that look pretty? I've let it dry a bit too much. So you can see that's actually not quite as crisp, but I think that looks really, really beautiful. However, if you think, mm, yeah, but Leona, that's not crisp enough, that's not exactly where I want it to be, you can always go in, you can stencil through that. You could actually go back and say you put your card there, for instance, because of course I can line it up. So you could, if you wanted to, take some paint and actually stencil back through. So if I use that, I'm going to take that stencil this time, so mix up my stencils, my nice clean stencil. I know it doesn't worry me that it isn't clean. And then go in and just stencil back through. So rather than, rather than actually um, stenciling onto my cardstock, you could just stencil direct onto cardstock. But this way, it just gives it a completely different look. So, popping that down as such. And then, let's mix it up. Let's put that blue. I love this. It's like, um, it's petrol, it's called. It's such a nice colour. And there, put that on as well. Just popping a little bit of that petrol over the top. So now, I've got the paint on here, so if I lift that, I'm taking another piece of card, pop that over the top, that's going to lift the paint off the stencil, and I'm only bothering to put the pressure sort of on the centre, that looks really good, doesn't it? So that's one, lift it off, let's see what we get. 
Okay. And I'm actually going to reprint over the top of this. I might not line it up perfectly, but let's have a see. You'll probably be able to tell by now that isn't a worry of mine. <laughs> if it's perfect or not. Still love it. I think that looks really effective because that to me now looks like the sunshine. Absolutely love that. And something like that then you can do so much with. So for instance, if you wanted to take that now, if because I've already got that paint on here, I want to do a little bit more. So start layering this paint back over again. And with this, you don't have to use one stencil. Mix up your stencils, mix up your different colours. So it allows you to create layers of interest, not just in the paint, but obviously in the, um, in the actual pattern, because you are pattern building effectively. So lift that one off, and then I'll take this stencil. Oh no, I quite like my arrows. Let's take my arrows. I quite like my arrows. Shouldn't be quite like, should it? it should be, oh, I love them. <laughs> and put a little bit more paint. I'm using little sponges just um, just so I can be quite precise. Um, you can use stipple brushes with this, it's up to you. And with this one now, I mean, because I'm taking quite a lot of time doing this, it means that I'll have to clean my, uh, my gel plate, so I'll have to pick that up. I was trying in my mind, I'll be honest, I was trying to avoid the centre and then all this was going to point into the centre but I got a bit carried away applying the paint then and kind of forgot that was my theory. So if it don't go 100% um, right, again, that's not a big deal. You always get, I find with gel plates, there's, when you get into this, there's very rarely that your prints look horrible and even when they look horrible, you've got another side at card. So don't panic too much. But, but it, it just seems that your prints always look cool. And I think that's um, just because of the nature of the beast. As long as you don't use too much paint, I think that's where it can start looking a little bit, um, you know, a little bit too heavy. And obviously go for colours that you like. I like, oops, I like the bright colours because I find I can work with those. And I'm just holding that in place. This is why uh, my stencils, and this is one of mine, this is why I created the open stencils, because I'm not worrying about a line. And I'm just gently holding that in place. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a bit croaky, isn't it? There we go. Right, let's see what that does. Now, having a look at that, pretty dry. So I'll need um, a light colour over the top of this. So I'm going for the white again. And I'm hoping I don't obliterate my circle on that card. So, again, we're going to go over with the Y. And this is one of the tips that you did see on one of the other, um, the other videos that we've done for you. So, doing that now, I'm thinking, my brain's kicked in. I'm only going to put paint there. So, that will pick up the paint here and it will pick up the paint there. So, theoretically we might have a little bit of a gap. Okay, so now bring the card. This is the one with the circle. Pop it down, pop the pressure on. Again, the paint in the center, we shouldn't really lift much of that up because it's dried. But the side panels, we should get a really cool, crisp print. So let's have a see. Fingers crossed, everyone. Yeah, I love it. So you've got that circle in the centre there, which I absolutely adore. You've then got, look how good those side panels have lifted. Absolutely beautiful. When you look at it as well, you've still got a print down there. So again, you can come in. I love this. And I, again, for everybody watching, secrets. I said, when I were doing this little clip, I said, oh, this will be really quick. And then I immediately get carried away. <laughs> And my little clips go on for like a good 10 minutes. So taking my paint again, and I'm going in light, but not as light. So this is more creamy, and I might pick up some of them other colours as well. Just going over the top, because I've got that middle panel, so I can lift that. Let's see what happens. And again, it's a good experiment for you. Take my card. <clears throat> And then let's have a see, folks. 
There's a lot of fingers crossed with my gel printing. There isn't really. Okay. Good bit of pressure on there. And then that's lifted. Look at that for a cool print. So that second, that middle panel, the one that I obviously didn't pick up, that's where your most of your, your um, prints come off. These, because I've mixed up my colours, that's why that looks really interesting as well. So from a piece of circle card, what have we got? So it's literally cutting a circle in a bit of card. You've got, first of all, that lovely print. I adore that. That's your aperture. Whether you're making cars, whether you're making um, things for your art journals, that looks really, really cool. Taking your second print, obviously with that one, I've layered through the circle as well, which looks really effective. That one layering, um, I want it that way because that's my sunshine. So that's my circle. And then obviously doing extra work on the side, lifting it off and cleaning my gel plate. You've still got, I can still see the circle there, but of course I've got all that extra print as well. And that's just from cutting a circle and a bit of card. It looks really effective, it's really easy. And again, you've got so many beautiful prints. Um, that's more fun with our fantastic gel plate, thank you.